Hello and welcome to airgunweb.com in our series called Take Aim. Without a doubt, RWS makes some really good rifles, but for some reason, they can ship with a completely dry compression chamber. This results in an air gun that sounds like a Christmas goose headed to the chopping block, or worse, actual mechanical problems with the gun. So how do you fix this without voiding the warranty on your gun? Today we're going to take a look at just this issue. You can get the links and more information about this episode at www.airgunweb.com. Just take a look for the Take Aim section of the site. So let's get started. I've had several RWS rifles that have arrived with completely dry compression chambers. This can cause the gun to not only honk, but become increasingly difficult to cock and possibly even damage the gun. The best way to resolve the problem is to contact Umarex USA and take advantage of their lifetime warranty. However, that means you're without your gun for a while and also out the shipping charges. So before you go that route, here's something very simple anyone can try. The only thing you're going to have to remove on your gun to try this simple fix is the stock. This exposes a good bit of the spring in the inside to the compression chamber. Now I'm using the RWS cleaning and maintenance supplies that we used previously on Take Aim, specifically the RWS spring chamber oil and the needle applicator. Also, before you get started, make sure you have a way to securely work on your gun. Don't try this without a gun rest or some other similar device. Let's go ahead and remove the stock, and all you're going to need is a number two filled screwdriver and your business. First thing you're going to do is remove the two forearm screws, and then you're going to remove the rear screw. Okay, now you're going to carefully and gently remove the stock. Okay. Now you're going to take your needle and you're going to put it on your bottle of the RWS spring cylinder oil. So what we're going to do is very carefully Put a couple drops, maybe three, maybe four drops, and we're going to put them right up against the wall of the compression chamber so that when we cock the gun, the piston is going to go down and it's going to collect some of that oil and start lubricating the mechanism. That's pretty much it. Now we can go ahead and replace the stock. So this has left a very thin coat of oil inside the spring chamber here. And when we cock the gun, the piston is going to pick up on that oil. Now it may take a couple shots for it to work, so you'll probably have to work it in. You may also get a little dieseling. A little dieseling is okay. A lot of dieseling is not okay. So we'll try a couple shots here. Okay, now you should notice pretty much an immediate change in your gun. If you've got enough oil in there, your honking noise is going to be gone. If you find that it's still honking a little bit, you can take it apart and try it one more time. Again, two or three drops, maybe three or four drops, down the length of that uh, spring up against the chamber is all you should put in the gun. If you've done that twice and it's still honking, it's time to go ahead and call Umarex and get your gun serviced by them. So take your time, try it once, try it twice. Hopefully that'll get you solved and you'll be back in business. Well, this wraps up another episode of Take Aim. I hope this simple tip proves very helpful to you RWS owners out there. I'd like to take a moment and thank Pyramid Air for their continued support of this series and our channel. 
it would be impossible for me to keep this going without their help and support. So thank them by visiting their website for your next air gun purchase or supply order at www.pyramidair.com. And please be sure to visit my site, www.airgunweb.com, for a list of the items we used in this video, along with their related links. Until next time, this is Rick Utzer with airgunweb.com. Thanks again for watching.